Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Happy 4th of July, everybody. I wish everybody the best. This is just going to be a quick podcast. Just to get some thoughts out to wish everybody a good holiday. And I mean everybody all over the world, across the pond. You could look at the day of our independence and see the briny, bright, shining light, the torch that was lit. Everybody could take the good and bad from it and see how their countries, their societies, their cultures are up with the times and getting more with a human, more of a humanitarian type view. Now, we might live in the greatest nation on earth in America, the United States, but it's not without flaws. Some major. We have to be real, have a healthy optimism, some humility. You recognize that a country built on freedom took 245 years to get rid of slavery, women's rights. I mean, we can go on and on. So there's a temperament you want to keep, you know. We love our country. We love uh, the values, the things that make us great. We have to recognize the flaws. So we do want to honor our vets. We want to appreciate everybody for what they do to make this country great. I think there's a good mix of people now. And although it looks bad here and there, we've got pandemics. I still think in the long run, we're better today than we've ever been. And and in certain contexts, and we need to look at that. But we do have our kooks and our crazy people out there. We have all over social media, more conspiracies than ever. And look, I understand conspiracies. I know how they work. I get the idea of how the brain likes to play with them. You connect these facts. People promote it in a story. My take is be careful because the real conspiracies, the dangerous ones, are real. The noted distinction is pretty hard to develop a critical skills to get savvy with some of this is uh, not easy and to take some practice. So I would say reflect on things a little more, take some time to think about what you're posting and stuff, but hey, everybody's got their triggers and their beliefs. So have a happy fourth. If you're really uh, worried, I would say there are lots of good things you can go look online. There are people saying, uh, be the fireworks this year, dress up in uh, outfits, red, white, and blue. Uh, Use the house confetti stuff. Watch TV. You got plenty of online things to see the fireworks. And it's a change, yes. You know, we're in this pandemic, hoax or not. Um, and in my view is if you're going to be a little bit safe, you know, you want to play in the middle ground, that's fine. Everybody, you know, wants to do their own thing. I get it. I understand the pressures, the, um, behavioral traits behind it. So just try to be safe and cordial and respectful, I guess, in that way. I mean, before the virus, you would sneeze, you'd want to sneeze in the crook of your arm and your sleeve and your shirt, your coat, uh, your hands. I mean, you just wanted to be respectful anyway. So with that logic, it just makes sense to, if you want, maintain a social distance, wear a mask. And if you're not, you know, you all got this mindset, fine. I get it. Hug your family, have your barbecues. But maybe recommend to wash your hands, you know, do if you're going to sneeze, sneeze in your arm, your shirt, you know, I mean, just to be, you know, not thumbing your nose at it. So you can be understanding of all points of view on a holiday like this. We want to see fireworks and my holidays have been 
disaster, no, not disaster, but just in a different place for the last 15, 20 years with things that have happened with me. So I've kind of been practicing social distancing way before this. But I understand the need, you know, to get to your families. You can use things like um, Skype, Zoom, see your family, talk to them, your kids, your nephews, if they still talk to you or they haven't unfriended you and blocked you. <clears throat> you can have uh, watch-alongs. You could play in certain movies, Independence Day, or whatever, you know, suit your fancy. Like I said, you could do things that are different, and if you're not, and if you're going to just not care, at least try to be somewhat respectful and understand that it is the logic makes sense. Yes, you don't have to um, not be six feet apart, wear a mask, but at least be understanding of the potential dangers out there, not to just blow them off completely. There's a gratitude, you know, we'd like to give to our veterans. I don't agree with some policies and the wars. And if you get technical, we haven't been in a legitimate war since whatever, World War II. But it's not the fault of our veterans and the people who serve. They have great admiration and respect for me and the concern for their mental health and their well-being. is always on my mind. So, thank you. I might do a, you know, uh, my own little movie selection uh, playlist going. Independence Day will probably be in there. Even though I'm a little, you know, it's never been one of my favorite, but I'll pick one. There's like some good ones out there. Uh, there's a voter type uh, patriotism. You could like decide to go, you're going to register to vote. What about kids, too, right? It's just tough. We got, you know, this is a new thing for us. It's not really easy. It's, like I said, you want to take the frame of mind. Look, you know, you're all idiots. All right, stay home. Do your social distancing. Practice your hygiene. Do what you got to do. And understand that some people want to be six feet apart, wear masks. They will be uh careful in that sense and yes you're gonna get people look there is a logic to saying look you can go protest right be shoulder to shoulder in crowds but you can't um open up certain things and whatever no there is a logic to that that says yeah i mean it's just the perspective that's skewed like not saying one or the other is good so i wouldn't do too much uh, damage control in that sense, except to say, look, just try to be understanding, uh, even though it might not look like it on Facebook. Hmm. I guess uh, the kid aspect is a little tough for me. I don't have kids. Um, try to uh, maybe find activities. There are always good reads I recommend on how to uh, engage your child with understanding of the developmental stage of their brain. So you can kind of look online and say, okay, well, my kid's seven and the other one's nine. And you can look at the seven to nine age range and see what engages them. What are the um, benefits of learning? Uh, so what would be tips to teach kids at certain ages, what they respond to better? Maybe it'll help you get a, you know, a, a handle on what it must be like for kids in this uh, time that we live in. The weather's been a little crazy in Brooklyn, New York. You know, like a lot of rain here and there and mugginess, but not super hot. I'm not going to say we've gotten scorched yet. Hopefully we don't. And I guess it's just... um. You know, try to focus. I always recommend meditating, taking a deep breath in three to five seconds, slight pause, let it out five to eight seconds. The basic theory about this breathing exercise is just 
slower in, longer out. And there are tons of breathing exercises. There are tons of meditation techniques. If you're interested, anybody can go and find something that kind of suits them. But it's my way of saying focus, breathe. Um, I think bicycling is probably good if you're um, being careful. You got to, depending on the land you have, I don't see why, you know, you can't exercise outside and do your things. I guess a, you know, careful way. But I don't see really the need to go out and, I don't know, I mean, the numbers game is a little difficult because you got numbers that are out there that are kind of misleading, you know, who it affects, children or not. Um, are they more prone to it because they had asthma and things like that? And you got the older people. Now, going out and saying everything's a hoax and just going, you know, to the far end of that spectrum, I don't recommend and I'm not here to promote that. I would just say, have a happy 4th of July. Enjoy and have a reflection of the love for humanity, the people around us, even though I'll ridicule and shit on your beliefs and it doesn't mean I don't care about you as a human being. As um, someone who's influenced my life in some way, if you're close to me, family, friends, the unfriended, the block people, everybody. Love you all. Have a happy 4th of July. And I'll talk to everybody next time. Take care.